I always take things seriously, but I've never taken it seriously like this. This is a very serious time in my life. I hate what's happening to the country. What we're doing is unbelievable. If you look at what's going on, where our jobs are disappearing to foreign countries, where the oil, you're going to be paying 7 or $8 a gallon for your oil very soon. But do you blame this all on Barack Obama? Well, I blame a lot of it. It's been a terrible presidency. Look at Libya. We go in, we don't want to remove Gaddafi, but we're going to go fight, and we're going to this, and now nobody knows what's happening, and it looks like Gaddafi is going to beat the United States. I don't know who the rebels are. You know, they make the rebels like it's some romantic, beautiful novel, the rebels. I hear the rebels are Al-Qaeda. I hear they're Iran-backed and Iran-influenced. Where are they getting those weapons before we came along? From Iran. He's going to go around saying he won the war against his country. All right, so everybody wonders what the Obama doctrine is, talk, asking questions. He doesn't what have would, a doctrine. He doesn't have a doctrine. Would he you? Really What's your he, doctrine? What would your doctrine be? About what? With respect to what? With foreign affairs. Foreign affairs is we take care of ourselves first, okay? We don't build st schools in Afghanistan. We go to Afghanistan, we build a road, we build a school. Two days later, they blow up the road, they blow up the school, we start building the road and the school again. In the meantime, we can't build schools in Alabama, in New Orleans, in Texas, in New York, my place where we're always fighting to try and get school money. We're spending trillions and trillions of dollars. My thing and my doctrine would be Why build, build. Why do you think build. that you are connecting with voters? I think that I connect with people because I happen to be smart. I happen to have a lot of common sense. I happen to know what I'm doing. I built a great company, and by the way, if I run, I look so forward to filing a declaration because it's, it's a great company. I built a great company, and I'll make that decision sometime prior to June. Do you consider yourself a Tea Party? -er? I think so. I'm very proud. I, yeah. I'm very proud of some of the ideas they put forth. And the big idea is they want to stop this ridiculous, absolutely killer of spending that's going on. What's going on in this country, the way we're spending money like drunken sailors, we are just absolutely going, and ultimately, we're going to destroy our own freedom. But we they want to it. stop it, even at the cost of shutting down the government. Well, that's excuse a, that's me. That's a possibility. Are you in favor of excuse that? Excuse me. It's not really shutting down the government. It's cutting costs. The kind of money that you're talking about is peanuts. And I think the Tea Party has done an amazing service for this country because people now, even very liberal Democrats, are starting to think for the first time, well, maybe we can't just keep giving everything away. If there is a shutdown, I think it would be a tremendously negative mark on the President of the United States. He's the one that has to get people together. Right. I'm a deal man. I made hundreds and hundreds of deals and transactions. He never did deals before. How can you expect a man that's not a deal man, that never did a deal, other than, frankly, becoming president of the United States. He never did a deal. How's he going to corral all these people? So how would you do it now? Now, you're in the Oval Office right now. I would it's get everybody Wednesday. together, and we'd have a budget. and it They've would all done. gotten together. Well, that's because they don't have the right leader. You don't have the right leader. This is the president of the United States has to get this done. And I think he probably will. Now, I don't say he, but I think he and the group probably will get it done, but it's pretty sad because the whole world is looking at us and laughing at us. You've uh, criticized Obama quite a bit in this interview and, and in the past. What do you think he has done well? Get elected. I think he did a great job when he ran for office. That's it? Well, I think Obamacare is a total disaster. I think the thing that he did best, okay. best of all, is get elected. He got elected. He ran an unbelievable campaign. I want him to do well. If I had my choice of having Obama do great as a president and do a really great job for this country and not running, as opposed to running and doing, I'd prefer that he did a great job. I love this country, but this country is going to hell. I would run a great, great country. This country will be great again. It is not great right now. We have huge deficits. We have huge unemployment. We have huge problems. And we're not respected. We're not respected in the world. The world laughs at us. They won't be laughing if I'm president.